Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to part 19 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6. And uh, this is most probably our last video in admin panel. Then we will move to front end. So uh, in this video, we are going to add uh, quickly add delete functionality for our attributes. Okay. So uh, we will do sweet alert again, like we have done earlier as well. Okay. So in part 19, uh, you know, we will continue product attributes uh, product attributes thank you yeah we will continue working on we will continue working on product attributes and uh, and this time this time we will do delete functionality for product for attributes uh with uh and uh, yeah with sweet alert with sweet alert confirmation box which we are going to show that confirmation box okay so this thing we are going to do and uh, so uh, let's start uh, first step is just to copy uh, css js of sweet alert confirmation box uh, sweet alert file that we can get from internet okay so it is simply search for uh, a keyword like search for keyword like uh, uh, sweet alert mm. uh, sweet alert js uh, css in google and uh, you can get uh, and just and just copy and just and just copy uh, uh, CSS JS um, to our admin controller so admin uh, admin design admin design file admin design JSON. okay this step we will quickly see see sweet alert uh, JS CSS see now yeah this we will get this URL and in this URL see you are going to get uh, these parts okay same step we are repeating again here see yeah just copy yes yeah we are going to copy from this one and uh, you can uh, add this uh, CSS file uh, this CSS file okay and and then you can add this CSS file as well okay like this okay in your admin controller we have already done this step okay but just if uh, for your practice and we are putting see here we already done this uh, step and css is already there uh, see css is already there fine and js is also there you can move see this is the js so we already having this so we are already having having so nothing to do nothing to do uh, so we will move forward to next step so next step is uh, to update um, add attributes blade file okay uh, so we will update uh, our blade file we will update link link we will update Lit link in blade file, blade file, and uh, we will add uh, rel rel one href columns href uh, attributes href and class. Okay, mm, uh, two lit link. Uh, okay, like see, I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to open add attributes and here I'm going to search uh, delete link. Here it is delete link. Yeah, it's already there, but uh, yeah, att attribute is fine. Ariel, and here it, we will do delete attribute, not here, copy from there. So, delete attribute we will use. Delete record is also there. Metric is also there. So, all these things are fine. We just copy paste or you are just going to show that what kind of things we require 
we require real must be like this and lead attribute must be like this and address must be like this and in class we will add this new class delete record okay this one we have added here these are the attributes we are going to add so after adding all these attributes uh, we will continue creating our route file for delete okay create route okay this one see we will now create uh, get route get a route we will create uh, with delete attribute uh, link create attribute url uh, uh, attribute uh, having uh, it must be having uh, uh, attribute id having attribute id it will also having attribute id so we will do like this okay so let's see just open web.php okay now see we have earlier on created something like this for leading product so we can copy this thing see this one we have created earlier as well so we can do this after this one okay attribute routes here we can do this okay we'll just uh, make it correct see now here i can do i will uh, move this and we'll simply delete attribute and id will be in here and here i will do lead attribute in place of product yes lead attribute like this okay fine okay now it's clear so now uh, this thing we have added for our route okay where is that i need to, uh, I need to copy this one and sorry i'm going to copy this uh, yeah this thing i'm going to copy i'm going to Place it there. Then what we have done in third step, and now in fourth step, now what I'm going to create function. Now I'm going to create function. Okay. Now simply we will create function for uh, we will create this lead attribute function. Uh, uh, now now create uh, lead attribute function uh, function in products controller products controller okay uh we will file to the attribute attribute and also uh, and also uh, get parameter also uh, we will yeah uh, get parameter we will add parameter to our function uh, uh id and to our function okay this thing we are going to do so now see we do that specific uh we are going to do this thing okay so now see i will open the yeah, first control is already open i will look to uh, we will just make sure to make all these visit look like this so that we know that what is what we are going to do okay yeah like this okay and this is the attribute and after this one i will add new uh, public function we will add lead attribute this time lead attribute and i will pass id of attribute here like this and now after this i am going to uh, use id to delete the attribute okay so uh, we simply uh, add model here. See, our model is product attribute, and from this model, first we will compare it with. We will add bear condition to see that if that ID we are going to use like this ID like this yeah, and after that we will simply do delete like this. Okay fine yeah now after deleting it this will simply create our attribute we will return back to our page so we will use return back itself return redirect back and we must be back to our 
added to boot page. So we are going to do this one. So this is the and this attribute uh, has been okay fine okay we simply edited the attribute in this and return to our page our attribute page now we will check what is working and uh, yeah first of all we will also see here what we have done we have done delete attribute and this will take it to our function that we have added earlier and here see here now it will take uh, so let me just uh, check it is here here see delete record uh, this will function will execute uh, by uh, this class that we have added here delete record and, and so this function will execute in jQuery and we will just pick uh, id uh, and uh, id and product uh, attribute id in this case and along with the uh, delete function that from this table we are going to delete here in delete function we are sending uh, this delete hyphen attribute and this will go to route it will go to here admin slash uh, delete uh, hyphen route and this will call the uh, that route uh, that delete attribute route and this will again uh, yeah then we will call delete attribute function and then it will delete the attribute and return back to our attribute. Let's see that if it is working fine or not. Okay, I'm going to refresh the page. Yeah, some issue has come. I forgot to add some colon. Now I'm going to see. Now I'm going to click on and delete anything you can delete. I'm going to delete. See, it is working fine. And sweet alert has come. And now you can cancel or you can add it to your wish. And for Sweet Alert, I'm again providing you a link of Sweet Alert. This one for GSS CSS. And now if you will search more, uh, you come to know that Sweet Alert files are there to see. Okay. And if you will search along Sweet Alert, you will get uh, Sweet Alert 2 as well. And you will get GitHub link as well. And uh, see, hmm, here are many sweet lot examples. We have tried some of them from this web page. Okay, so you can search on that for your sweet lot and see this one is fine. If you click on no cancel, then it will not read. And if you will click on that and delete and see this record will be deleted. See, product has been deleted. So actually, message has come. And uh, and your record has been deleted. Uh, check once again. Uh, must be it And sorry for that. Uh, let me see uh, what issue is coming. Uh, see. Okay. Product ID is six, and uh, we will check that product ID is fine or not. And such issues do come when you are very much sure that no issue will come and then suddenly some issue comes it happens with every programmer that's why it always called programmers have no life okay uh, now see let's see uh, what happened yeah, my mouse is not working properly i think i need this one minute let me see now uh, we are sending uh, id 4 and that is wrong id we are sending that I will check that attribute ID we need to send and we will check the correct attribute ID and uh, sorry sorry yeah, attribute ID is fine here see for attribute ID is fine and this one is fine yeah for attribute ID is fine and we are going to check what is the issue here yeah. Yeah, I'm going to check it and now delete product uh, delete product it is still coming delete product we have done delete attribute here so uh, we will check where is the issue we will again do like this it is speaking earlier still it is speaking delete product and uh, see, still it is speaking delete product it must speak delete attribute 
see this thing is wrong here this must be delete hyphen attribute i am going to see that my page is working fine or not then this is the object yeah now it's refreshed now it's refreshed i think i have not saved the page no so let me check back again now see delete attribute is coming fine now i'm going to remove this okay i'm going to remove this here now i'm going to click on delete again see now the message has come first no cancel it's fine and now again delete and now i'm going to delete yes delete it okay now see now the message has come product has been deleted successfully and it's later and this time it is deleted this entry is not here at all okay so this time i'm going to delete medium okay now i'm going to delete i'm going to delete first time only and let's see if it is going to delete it or not i'm going to delete yes delete it okay now see yeah it deleted again attribute has been deleted successfully okay so everything is fine uh we have seen in video uh, there is no issue and and now everything is clear uh so uh, so in video uh, we able to see uh, uh, that attribute uh updating correctly updating correctly okay uh, and wait a lot a lot comes every time okay. yeah, we want to delete okay uh, so in next video we will start video, we will start working on front end for the first time and then for the first time we will search uh, Search some free uh, e-shop or e-com template uh, and uh, start working on that. On that, okay. So uh, from next video, we are going to start on front side uh, with all home page listing detail, shopping cart navigation everything everything and register login sign up means whatever we will cover everything uh, at the end of this tutorial you guys will be expert in laravel and will be expert in making e-commerce website okay so stay tuned with me and you will have more fun uh, in next video when our front end will start so uh, do so stay tuned uh, for next video and thanks for watching